Hi guys, this is the first of two videos in which we will define all of the terms we use to describe different igneous rocks. In this first video, we will focus on the terms we use for intrusive igneous rocks. These terms often depend on the formation of the different types of igneous rocks. So it's important to understand these terms and how we use them because the terms depend on how the rock is formed, which then dictates the igneous textures which we can observe. In general, rocks can either be ultramafic, mafic, intermediate or felsic. And then they can be classified as crystalline or glassy or fragmented, which all depends on how the molten rock has cooled and solidified, whether it was an intrusive or extrusive igneous rock. We can place all igneous rocks into these two main categories of intrusive and extrusive. Just quickly, if you haven't watched the videos on intrusive and extrusive volcanic activity, or the video that defines ultramafic, mafic, intermediate and felsic magmas, I would suggest you maybe go and watch these videos before you continue with this one. So after we've defined the rock as intrusive or extrusive, we can then use all of these terms here to describe the rock even further. These terms are all used to describe specific features of igneous rocks. And then finally we have the terms of euhedral, anhedral and subhedral. These terms are used to describe the crystal formation that we can see within the igneous rocks. In this video, we will just be having a look at the intrusive terms and the terms that we use to describe crystal formation. In the next video of this two-part series, we will be having a look at the terms we use to describe extrusive igneous rock. So firstly, we classify the rock as ultramafic, mafic, intermediate or felsic. Ultramafic rock has less silicon, which the